Welcome to Tadashi Science, where our goal is to make science simple. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more helpful science content. Energy is all around us. Without energy, we wouldn't be able to get anything done. In this video, we are going to look at the difference between kinetic and potential energy and how to identify what type of energy an object has. In order to understand kinetic and potential energy, it is important that you remember the information we covered in our speed and velocity video. If you do not remember this information or need a refresher, please check out our video on this topic. Energy is just the ability to do work. Work is just when you apply a force to an object and move it a certain distance. We will cover work in more detail in a later video. The main thing to take away from energy and work is that if you want to do work, aka move an object, you will need energy to do that. Energy is going to be measured in joules, which is abbreviated with the capital letter J. This will be important later when we learn how to calculate energy. Now, when we look at energy and the different types of energy, we can start by breaking it down into two different categories, kinetic and potential energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. If an object is moving, then it has kinetic energy. So the moving car here has kinetic energy because it is moving. The formula that we will use to calculate kinetic energy will be Ke equals mv squared divided by 2 where m is mass in kilograms and v is velocity in meters per second. We will look at how to use this formula to solve for kinetic energy in a later video. But from this formula, we can see that kinetic energy is affected by the mass and the velocity of an object. The bigger the mass, the more kinetic energy an object has, and the bigger the velocity or the faster the object is moving, the more kinetic energy that object will have. Now let's look at potential energy. Potential energy is stored energy. If I were to tell you that you had the potential to do something, that means that you are capable of doing something, but you aren't actually doing it at that moment. That is kind of how potential energy works. Objects with potential energy are storing energy, and they have the potential to use that energy to do work, but they are not actively using that energy. While all potential energy is stored energy, we can break it down into three different types, elastic, chemical, and gravitational potential energy. Elastic potential energy is energy that is stored in objects when they are compressed or stretched. An example of this is a bow and arrow. When you pull the arrow back and stretch the string, you are storing elastic potential energy in the string. Chemical potential energy is energy that is stored in the chemical bonds of compounds. An example of this is in the food that we eat. Food is made of chemicals that our body then breaks down to convert to energy we can use. Finally, gravitational potential energy is energy that is stored in objects that are above the Earth's surface and is abbreviated GPE. So any object that is not sitting on the surface of the Earth has some amount of gravitational potential energy. We can solve for gravitational potential energy using the formula GPE equals MGH where m is mass in kilograms, g is gravity, or the acceleration due to gravity, which is always 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth, and h is the height in meters. We will look at how to use this formula to solve for GPE in a later video. We can see here that GPE is really only affected by the mass and the height, since gravity on Earth is always 9.8. So from this formula, we can see that objects with a bigger mass will have more GPE and objects that are higher off the ground will also have more GPE. Now you know the basics of kinetic and potential energy. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to help us be able to produce more helpful science content. If there's a specific topic you need help with, please let us know in the comments.